that we cannot change others, but we can change how we react to them in the situation. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to change somebody else, right? <laughs> Let me fix the problem by changing the person. You're annoying me, or if I can just get you to do this, if I can just get that to change. The bottom line is that we cannot change people. What we can change is how we approach it, right? And this is a good time to kind of practice spaciousness. And we lose a lot of spaciousness when um, we're overwhelmed. And we're overwhelmed when we're super busy. Just being busy constantly, like, you know, watching stuff on social media and watching TV. And there's constant bombarding of information. And that doesn't give us a lot of space. And does that, that doesn't give us um, enough room to just breathe. So it's really important to create spaciousness. And then from that spaciousness, we can have room to allow to, for people to be that way. A good example, I have a part of my family, not the, the immediate family, and they're such a good tribe. They come together every weekend the way the old generation used to do. They're still doing that. And, um, and it's quite interesting because when you start to hear the opinions, some of them are so conflicting that if they would actually talk about politics or anything like that, this will explode in about five minutes. Like it would be just a disaster. And they always make sure to diffuse that. So if someone brings up like a very explosive subject, someone kind of tones it down and puts it to the side. And they're really like making sure that it's good as a family and as a unit, rather than having to be so right and having to fight about the differences. There are always going to be differences and we cannot change those differences. But we also, you know, we need more spaciousness to be able to allow that and then learn to diffuse. Diffuse, diffusing is very sabrosura. It's very... It's about taking something and kind of massaging it. 